okay. Been out shooting most of the day. Wasn't too bad. It was like in the mid 50s. My feet are killing me. I walk too much. Oh, wait a minute. It's just because I'm too fat, right? Um, easiest way to approach. I got a link to an article, and it's like a two part article. It's on the Strobos, which is written by David Hobby. I'd like for you to read it and check it out. For your own benefit, of course, because um, uh, I made a video a couple days ago about the fact that most people don't know what a uh, speed light is for. Well, sure it is. It's just fill flash. No, 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 no. That's a corollary to why you use it. When you uh, control the subject, it gets you control over the ambient background, too, because you can expose for the ambient and then raise your subject up to whatever lighting level you want. Also, with whatever sort of illumination you want. Not just raise it up, but raise it up to the way you want. You know, dropping light on something is only half the battle. The other half of the battle is lighting control. Anybody could, like, drop a lot of light on something. Boom! It's like, yeah, it's perfectly exposed. Yeah, but it looks like crap. It looks like a snapshot! <laughs> so, the three S's of speed light use. Separation, or isolation of your subject, also gives you depth gives you true se uh, se separation between uh, your subject and the background. So separation. Second, your sensor, no matter who makes your camera, cries for saturation. Saturation becomes amazing. Ambient light is just, you know, milking the light onto your uh, sensor with uh, time and gain, shutter speed and aperture. Um, shooting your sensor, bam, which actually circumvents your shutter because the speed light to duration time or the T1 time usually is, uh, you know, it's zapping your sensor with saturation. I mean, that's where you get those really rich colors. That's where the magic happens. Um, third is shadow control. By shadow control, I mean the type of lighting. Like, you can make a ugly girl look beautiful if you underlight her. I mean, it's a sort of, sort of lighting control or how you're controlling the subject illumination to define the composition and the feeling of uh, the subject shot that you're actually taking. In other words, where you place the light, the type of lighting control, the degree, angle, intensity, ratio, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I call that shadow control. I mean, obviously it's more complex than that, but to keep it simple, call it the three S's. Uh, the last one, of course, is DR compression, the compression of the dynamic range, which is what I just talked about the other day. Please check out the article below on Strobist. I can't remember when he uh, saw that, but I ran across it the other day. It's like a two-part article that you should read. So, Separation, saturation, shadow control, and dynamic range compression. Um, you think your, your speed light's just for fill light, and it's not. It's so much more than that. When you control the subject, you also control the ambient. Well, how can I control the ambient? Because it's way the hell back there, and my speed light can't reach it. No, you don't understand. When you control your subject lighting, that means you, could, you can raise or lower your ambient, your background, to whatever you want. You can over, not that you really want to overexpose it in most situations, but you can make it look however you want. You got a lot of control over your background illumination when you control your subject illumination. Because without that speed light, you're a complete slave to whatever the hell's there. And if the dynamic range is too much, you're screwed. There's not enough saturation, you're screwed. If the lighting is bad, you're screwed. Speed light lets you control everything. Almost everything, but pretty much everything. So separation, saturation, and shadow control. Please keep that in mind because it's it's like if you're going to go out in a daylight shoot, it's like, why would I bring a speed light? It's like, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why you bring a speed light out in a bright, sunny day. I mean, a lot of reasons. Most people don't realize what those are. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching so much, and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.